So the question again is, when are you going to take the word of God for yourself? In other words, when are you going to decide to believe that it's true for you? Now, the key, but the key about this is this. Most people want to wait till they get to heaven. Too late, right? You, you don't need any power in heaven. Everything's going to be provided. You're not going to need healing in heaven. You're going to get it before you walk through those gates. Amen? You're going to be fixed. You're going to be perfect. All that stuff's going to happen. So, and you're not even honestly going to be concerned with that. So now's the time to decide for the word of God to be true for you. Now, if you're going to decide it's true for you spiritually, in other words, you get born again, you believe that salvation's for you, you might as well believe all of it. If you're not going to believe all of it, how do you know you believe salvation's real? Just something to think about, right? Now, so in Romans chapter 8, and I'm going to go through this, because remember, we're talking mostly about the emotions today, because that is by far the biggest hindrance of people walking in the new covenant. If you're going to live according to the new covenant, remember a while back I gave, um, actually I talked about filters. You have to see things through certain filters. And in other words, you can't just look at the world the way the world looks at the world. Why? Because the world is dead in sins and trespasses, and they're natural, and they don't receive the things of the Spirit of God. So if you're born again and you are of the Spirit of God, then you're going to have to look at things not through sight, but through the filters, right? Through faith, number one. I say number one. That's a thing. And so you have to look at the world through the filter of faith, you have to look at the world through the filter of how the kingdom operates. There's all these filters that you have to go through that you have to look at. And one of those filters is the new covenant. That's why we have so many problems in the church today is because people still are not looking at situations and circumstances in their life through the filter of the new covenant. They're looking at it. They're not walking by faith. They're walking by sight. And if you walk by sight and not faith, you're natural and not spiritually minded. And if you're naturally minded, that means you're carnally minded. And the carnal mind is enmity or hostile toward God. So this is, I hate to say it this way, but it's true. This is an either or situation. This is not just to make a choice and, you know, or make no choice. Because when you make no choice, you've made a choice. 